Jared Polin, froknowsphoto.com, and this is your Photo News Fix. This fix is brought to you by Rode in the 2018 My Road Real Competition, which is back for its fifth year. So how do you get entered? You must create a three minute short film along with a behind the scenes video and be sure to use a road product. Now there's 25 categories to choose from and there's a million dollars in prizes up for grabs this year. To learn more, go to bit.ly slash froreal18. First up, could these leak photos show the not yet announced DJI Phantom 5? I'm gonna go out on a limb right here, Steven, and say, yeah, yeah, it looks kind of real. These amazing drawings seem to show the cooling motors have been moved to the bottom of the drone and the batteries have more ceiling rings, which means maybe the Phantom is more capable of flying in the rain. Or maybe it's like that Lily camera and can fly out of the water. Steven, remember that piece of sh product? But the biggest change looks to be an interchangeable lens system. The rumor suggests there is a DLM mount, which could work with a 15, 24, 35, and 50 millimeter lens. If these rumors are true, the Phantom 5, though not as mobile friendly as the Mavic or Mavic Air, might be poised to be a great drone. Next up, are you someone who likes wearing gold rings and likes cameras as well? What if I told you you're in luck because you could be the next owner of this super rare 14 carat solid gold KGB spy ring camera? An eBay listing of the ring describes it as a pre-owned, yeah, no sh Steven, pre-owned, it's KGB era for God's sake. Super rare one-of-a-kind sub-miniature spy camera from the former Mr. Shimada famous Japanese camera collection. It's a Russian KGB spy ring camera. Allegedly in the possession of the vendor since early 1970, sold at Christie's in 1991, reportedly to a jewelry collector for about $25,000. Now, Stephen, did Putin own it? Can I say Putin here? So here's how it works. Well, actually, I have no idea how it works. What do you think? You just point it at something and go, pew, 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 I'm taking pictures with my KGB spy ring. Captain Planet. Camera takes eight millimeter film, has a variable aperture and a working guillotine shutter. I guess it works similar to an eight millimeter film camera. You hit a button and a bunch of film is exposed quickly. Now anyway, if this is for you, all you have to do is fork over $25,000. What's that, Steven? It's Canadian dollars? Oh, that's like a $1.25. Dollar twenty-five, please. What was that noise? Oh, that's you hitting the notification bell so you never miss one of my videos. Ding! Introducing the world's fastest camera, car. This $200,000 Lamborghini, we look this up, Uricon. Some people say Uricon. I say Uricon. What the owners of this car decided to do was repurpose the frunk and toss in a five axis gyro stabilized mount that can work with any camera and lens and keep it stable up to 3000 millimeters. Steven, does that mean you can put the Hubble telescope on it? Cool. This car goes from zero to 60 in 2.8 seconds, which you think might be fast, but it's not as fast as my Porsche camera car. Now, is it Steven? <laughs> So fast! As you can see in the video, there is a driver and a camera operator, though I'd like to see the driver try to control the camera and get the shot. Though the car alone is only $200,000 only, Steven. Chump change, buddy. Chump change. The entire build out set the team behind the camera car back incline dynamic outlet $500,000, which is still chump change, Steven. Now, even though that sounds like a lot of money, I'm pretty sure this will pay for itself time and time again, because the movies and commercial people will come call it. And finally, Nikon confirms a new mirrorless system will be arriving by spring 2019, which lines up with my prediction of eight to 12 months. Steven, it's good they didn't say spring of 2018 because we didn't have one. Japanese TV network NHK conducted an interview with a Nikon manager who doesn't seem to actually have a name. I've got a name. He said, and I quote, development is underway and we expect to bring one to market by spring next year. Hey Steven, watch it be an EOS M50 competitor and not a full frame camera. And then guess what happens? The band continues to play as the ship goes down. Why didn't she invite him onto the door? There was room for Jack on the door, Steven. <laughs> 
Well, I guess it's just going to be a waiting game at this point, so we will have to see what happens. And there you have it. That's your photo news fix this time around. To check out the last photo news fix, go ahead and click on the screen right here. Don't forget to hit that bell next to the subscribe button, please. And that's it. Jared Poland, Photo.com. See ya.